I tell you what, I am excited about this one. Woo! What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode. It's your boy Jabril, and today we are going to make a spicy chili lime burger. I'm excited, very, very excited. But before we get too far ahead, if you are new to this channel, make sure you hit that sub button for me and notification button. Throw a comment down below, share this with your friends and family. Let's get started. All right, so this one's pretty easy. This one's pretty self-explanatory. The hardest part is going to be making the coleslaw. And, uh, which by the way, we're making a coleslaw. So fun fact, you're now informed. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna make a chili lime coleslaw and it's fairly straightforward. Um, most of it's just mixing. And then the next hardest part is cooking the burger. Uh, and that's not too terribly hard. But anywho, let's start with the coleslaw. All right, so I have here some coleslaw mix, some cabbage and carrots, and then I'm gonna add some cilantro leaves to this. And then for the, I guess, sauce, mix, base, whatever, I got some olive oil mayo, and then some crushed red pepper flakes. Give it some, give it some love. Then we're gonna season it with some salt and pepper. Of course, chili powder. And then also, of course, some lime juice. And then I'm gonna add some minced garlic to this. And then I'm gonna fancy it up a little bit, kind of go Thai-ish, but I'm gonna add a little bit of rice vinegar to this. And then for the burger patties, uh, I got some 90-10 lean Angus patties that I'm gonna use. And then I got some, just some basic Carb Smart hamburger buns. And then I'm gonna melt some Swiss cheese on top of this. I am going to serve this with some good old fashioned sweet tater fries. I love me some sweet tater fries. So let's go ahead and make a coleslaw. All right, so I have a overly aggressively oversized knife. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna do kind of a decent sized batch. This will shrink a little bit because when the moisture hits it, it kind of condenses just a, just a smidgen. But I'm gonna do two cups of coleslaw mix. Okay, then I'm gonna tear up probably, I don't know, seven or eight cilantro leaf stems, whatever. Probably close to a quarter cup of cilantro leaves. Doesn't have to be a horrific amount, but I wanna tear them off the stems. I do want that. I don't want a bunch of stems in here, okay? Then I'm gonna add a quarter cup of my mayo. And for some reason, when it comes to mayonnaise, I always do a little less than what you think you need because it always seems to magically multiply whenever you add it in here. I don't understand what it is about coleslaw and mayonnaise. I it just, it see you put like, you put like that much in it and all of a sudden it just acts like it triples. I don't get it, I don't understand it. But anywho, quarter cup, if you wanna add a little bit more, you can, but I don't want it too wet. Plus we're gonna add other liquids to it, so it'll kind of even out. Uh, but next, I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of minced garlic, okay? Then about a tablespoon of rice vinegar and then a tablespoon of lime juice. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of chili powder. Okay, then I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Then we're just gonna go light on the salt and pepper, so I'm probably gonna do about a half teaspoon's worth of each. Okay, give that a good mixy mix. So, I'm gonna go ahead, clean up, and let this sit in the fridge just until you're done doing your burgers. Uh, it doesn't need to stay in there too long, because uh, then otherwise it gets soggy but about 10, maybe 20 minutes, you can let it sit in the fridge. But we're gonna set this in there, clean up, and then we're gonna make our burgers. All right, so now it's time for our burgers. Uh, so again, I have here some 90-10 beef patties, and you can use whatever beef patties you wanna use, um, or whatever meat mixture you wanna use, but that's what I'm using. And then again, we'll melt some Swiss cheese on top, and then I'm gonna season the burgers just simply with some black pepper, some salt, and a little bit of garlic powder. All right, let's get our pan hot. And then I'm gonna use a glove because it'll be easier for me to season the patties. But I'm gonna spray this with some avocado oil. Okay, give that a minute to get nice and hot. All right, so our pan is hot. So, salt, black pepper, and some garlic, okay? And, and season the other side, okay? And once these kind of create a little bit more room, then I'll put the rest of them in there. But 
Let these go about three minutes aside, so they're about medium. And these are relatively small patties, so these won't take too long, which is also kind of nice. Kind of scooch them over a little bit. And they'll shrink a little bit while they're in the pan, so it'll make it easier. And I probably could use a slightly bigger pan, but that's okay. Okay, this one's about ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy. But while these are finishing up, I'm gonna go ahead and toast a couple buns. All right, so these are just about done. And this last one's almost done, but I'm gonna use him, and I'm gonna go ahead and melt some Swiss cheese on this. All right, so cheese is melted a little bit, but let's go ahead, take him off before this burns, because I don't want this to burn. Okay, let's make a burger. All right, so we got our toasted bun. Let's grab our burger. <clears throat> I'm gonna tear up a little bit more uh, cilantro leaves. Okay, and then we got our coleslaw. I'm feeling a little spicy, so I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha to mine, but there we have it. All right, and here you have the beautiful chili lime burger. Chili lime coleslaw burger, there we go. Chili lime coleslaw burger. Let's try it out. I almost forgot my sweet tater fries, but let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm so excited. Oh, so excited. Cheers. Oh my. Oh, that is, I mean, look at that. Look at that, that is beautiful. Mm. This is, the coleslaw has a nice, vibrant, citrusy taste to it with the lemon juice. And then also a little bit of the uh, extra cilantro. And then it's got a little bit of heat from the chili powder. And then also adding the cilantro, uh, the sriracha. I keep wanting to call it cilantro. I don't understand why. I already said cilantro. Um, but the sriracha adds a little extra heat to it. The Swiss cheese adds a nice, nice saltiness to it. Mm. And it's a very juicy burger. If I do say so myself, for being 9 to 10, I, I haven't really indulged in 90, 90 10 beef. Um, this is actually the first time you're kind of witnessing, uh, witnessing history right now. This is pretty, uh, this is not bad at all. I think cooking it in the avocados, um, the avocado oil helps a lot too. And then of course the fat from the, uh, from the mayo and the slaw. Mm, that was delicious. Well guys, there you have it. A chili lime coleslaw burger. Mm, spicy. But there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you share this with your friends and family. Throw a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think, and as always, guys, peace out, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Well, that did not suck at all. That was quite delicious. I'm gonna have... No, I'm not. I might have more, but no.